Welcome to Long Arm Wednesday. I'm Laura Lynn of the Mama Pop Quilt Shop, and we're very happy to see you here today. Today, we're working on Allison's quilt. She's one of my California girls, and this is her Halloween project. It's very, very cute. I've done a meander around all the pumpkins and around the witch's hat, the kitty cat, the cauldron. There's a bunch of other lovely big pumpkins like this, starry pumpkins. Uh, I, it looks like it's a kit. I'm sure she said it was. It's absolutely stunningly beautiful. Uh, and the back background fabric or the backing fabric is it's got one with the flowers on it I think it's right down over here and it matches just just perfectly it's really really pretty so uh, we're just kind of puttering around so I've uh, just kind of highlighted I went around the pumpkins really close and then I just kind of highlighted a little bit of the two lines there a little bit of the ziggity zag going on here going around each one I've gone around the hat already and I will come around the buckle for the hat and um, I don't know if I've decided I may put a spider up here well, it depends it depends uh, and then just come all the way around and just come around the buckle but we're just gonna put oh there's uh, another pumpkin I've done I just did the lines on the angle there got a couple small ones up here uh, this one over here I just went around the stars and just around the um, the whole pumpkin itself and now we're gonna put her at this big one here okay so. Happy you could join us today. Hopefully you had a fantastic weekend like we did. <laughs> and, oh, it's, uh, I have it off the belt. I do have my ruler plate on and I've got my little plexi piece that Pop made me and I'm just gonna slowly go around. Just be patient. There's a game of patience. Angles are the hardest. And then I'll come back in and go all the way around that beautiful star that's in the center. Pumpkin star. Beautiful. I love this. I love this project. And I love that, like, the houndsy tooth fabric here for the background. It just adds so much movement to the whole quilt project, and I can't wait to see it hanging. It's not overly large. It's, like, 60 by... 50 or something maybe maybe a, maybe a little bit bigger than that but uh, it's oops there we go it's definitely just like a, a wall hanging or um, or a lap quilt or definitely one to hang up or cuddle with on Halloween night Take it all the way up okay. And I use linen glide thread. Uh, Walt likes glide. That's that's his preferred thread. He does all sorts of weird loops and wonky things if you try to put any other thread besides glide in him. So uh, we stick to glide. We learned that early. <laughs> and now here I'm just going to kind of come either one way or the other clockwise, counterclockwise. I'm not sure uh, if there is a difference or, you know, what's what's better. I guess just what's up for you. You do, it's good for you. I'm just gonna come in and highlight this beautiful little star. And we have been asked about the whole cloth. I will show it again. I, 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 I've worked on it a little bit, but it's definitely a very labor intensive project. So uh, it's a game of patience with that one. And uh, I can't do too much or it, uh, it's, you know, you end up burning yourself out, so. And we don't want that. Threads are in the way. Love that little ziggy zag fabric. That's really cool too. Like how the pumpkin looks with it as well. 
And you wouldn't really need to do much more than this. If you wanted to do more, you could probably just go around the centers, uh, square and the squares if you wanted. Um, I think this this should be just enough to, to get it to pop that just that little bit we're looking for. And I think with all the background stitched down, it certainly is getting that. We'd be puffy pumpkins. All right. Lock in our stitches. Top to the bottom, uh, bottom to the top. Okay, isn't that cute? Looks very nice. Yeah, we could go in here. We'll see, I may, I may change my mind about doing that. All right, and here is another little small pumpkin. Oh, did you get caught over there? Hold on, what's happening? Weird. Let's see if that actually got looped under here. I can reach it. Yeah, it did for some reason. Hmm, weird. It's okay. Oh, 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 get back here. Okay, all right. Locking stitches. Put that there. And uh, there we go, the other way. This has been very fun to um, kind of meander around. I put in a couple of spider webs and a couple little ghosts in the stitching. So we'll see if anybody ever spots them. All right, and again, locking stitches. It's a lot of breaking threads when you do this. It's all locked and beautiful. All right, a couple little wayward threads here in between the seams. Mm. Oh, yeah, it's going to go in between. There we go. It's a zigzag. Sorry, I did on the outside the last time, so let's do on the outside orange this time. Make them, make them so they match. And I'm just gonna plug my way down the quilt and then it'll be all done. And then I get to mail it off to her. She'll be so happy. You could do more inside the little zigzag if you wanted to. I mean, that's completely up to you. Uh, you can quilt it so it's, you know, super, super dense. But, you know, it, it sometimes that doesn't always suit the quilt, right? So, and then for this one too, I'll just kind of come around and then just highlight it and then follow maybe one of these lines here up here, there, come down here, or just go down in between and across. That might be actually the safest than trying to um, follow something specific. Oh, oh are we at a bobbin thread? Oh, we probably are. <laughs> I knew we were getting close. Oh, see, I always run out of bobbins. All righty. Un momento. Loaded and ready to go. Okay, tension's good. Lock. And back we go. Okay. Let's do this one. It's a long tail on that one, that's okay. Just kind of get it up out of the way. It's not really even necessary to go around. I just really want those little pumpkins to pop the best they can and not just kind of pop where they just didn't get quilted from the backing to next to the pumpkin, right? So I really just want that whole little roundy shape, that, that cuteness of the pumpkin and the stem. Same with the hat and the cauldron and the uh, kitty cat. 
And it's such a cute little black cat too. Reminds me of Mr. Clive. Okay, now I'm gonna come down here, right down the center. Back track. Go one way, then the next. Ride the seam on the outside. Oh, the stitching, sorry. There we go. We're gonna lock those stitches in. And we're slowly gonna plug our way at some pumpkins here. I figure it was appropriate since the whole pumpkin pie on the weekend. So, pumpkin pie and a pumpkin quilt. It's looking cute. Yeah, it's really, really adorable. Uh, um, check out the uh, iCard uh, and you'll see it uh, all done. I'll take a big picture of it so you can actually see um, what it looks like. Um, and besides just this little bit on the long arm, okay? So thank you, everybody. We really appreciate you here at the Mom and Pop Quilt Shop. Uh, thank you for liking and subscribing. And don't forget to click that bell. If you actually click the bell, it actually gives you notification, um, like three little options. So make sure you're clicking on the right one so you don't miss when we have a live stream and you don't miss when we're doing uh, new videos or you know even when I'm just, uh, doing the cross stitching you don't miss any of those whenever I get them because they'll kind of random on those ones but uh, yeah so we don't want to miss you so don't you miss us okay big hugs from us and we'll see you soon take care everybody enjoy the Wednesday